Hello, welcome to Chaosium's video on how to play Miskatonic University. This is a competitive, push your luck set collecting card game for two to five players, designed by Rainer Kinesia, published by Chaosium, and set in the Orn Library of Miskatonic University in the mystery riddled city of Arkham, Massachusetts. Let's have a look. Here is what the game looks like set up for two players. As you can see, each player needs their own player desk board. You'll notice the player desk boards have characters on them, but don't worry, the characters don't have their own unique special powers. In addition to the desk board, each player will need their own set of defense cards. You can tell which defense cards are yours based on the picture and the color on the back. Finally, in the middle of the table, set up the library deck in easy reach of everyone and set up the five black sanity cards in order. You also have the red sanity deck and the law deck over here. The five black sanity cards represent the five rounds of the game, but you'll need to supplement them with extra red sanity cards. At the start of each round, make sure that each stack has a number of cards equal to the players. So in this case, we have two players, so we need to add an extra sanity card. Now, if we had three players, we would add two red sanity cards for a total of three uh, sanity cards for three players. But you have to be careful, you can't have two sanity cards of the same number. If this happens, just discard an extra one and draw again until you get unique values. Then order the sanity cards uh, from highest to the top to lowest at the bottom. Again, we're just playing with two players in this game, so we'll just stick with a total of two sanity cards. You'll want to set these up at the beginning of each round. Now we're ready to play. In Miskatonic University, you play as some of the university's most senior scholars. You're gathered one evening in the Orn Library when suddenly terrified screams break out from the restricted section where the library keeps their most arcane and forbidden knowledge. An indescribably hideous monster has broken out, and it's up to you to venture into the restricted section, gather as much arcane knowledge as you can while keeping your sanity intact to gain the knowledge you need to defeat the creature. Whichever scholar manages to do that will be the winner. On your turn, you'll take a card from the library deck, flip it over, and then it will go to a place on your player desk depending on what kind it is. There are three kinds of cards in the library deck, here they are. There are sigil pieces. There are three kinds, and you'll gather them at the bottom of your desk. Once you gather one of each kind, you will have completed a set. There are also grimoire cards. There are seven different kinds of grimoire cards, but you only need to gather five of different kinds on this side of your desk to complete the set. In both cases, once you've completed a set, all of the cards are discarded and you gain three points in the form of a lore card at the end of the game. But as you're collecting these cards, you have to be careful. If you've already got one symbol or one kind of sigil card and collect another one, your scholar will go somewhat insane and you'll be forced to involuntarily leave the library. That means you are out of the rest of the round and you discard the lowest sanity card, and that will get scored by no one. If at any point you prefer not to take a library card, you can instead elect to voluntarily leave the library. This also means you'll be out of the round, but as you leave, you score the lowest sanity card available. That is yours, you'll have that at the end of the game. So, on your turn, apart from either drawing a library card or choosing to leave the library voluntarily, you also have an extra couple of extra powers at your disposal. The defense cards. You have five kinds of defense cards that are protective. You play these before you choose to draw your card. You also have three defense cards that are reactive. You, ch you can choose to play these after you've drawn the card and seen it. Once you've used a defense card, you flip it over, and it can't be used again. You can regain your defense cards when you involuntarily leave the library. You regain the use of one of your defense cards. Also, if you manage to collect an entire set of four graduate students, which is the third kind of library card, once you collect an entire set of those, 
you discard them, and you regain the use of one of your defense powers. The round ends when each scholar has left the library, either voluntarily or involuntarily. At that time, arrange the new sanity cards for the next round and start again. At the end of the fifth round, finally add up all of your points from sanity cards and lore cards. Whichever scholar has the most points is now fully equipped to fight the monster. Thanks for watching! You can find out more about Miskatonic University and the Call of Cthulhu Mythos at chaosium.com.